Forces are pushes or pulls. Think about anything in your everyday life that you could push or pull, and there's a force involved. So let's say that I have a box, which is sitting on a table, and people on different sides of the box are going to try to push it in different directions. So depending upon the size of the force, the size of the push, the box will either move one way or the other way or will actually remain still. So what if we push from the left with a force of 10 newtons and we push from the right with a force of 15 newtons? Well, obviously 15 is bigger than 10, so the box is going to move that way. So what is the net force, the overall net force? The overall net force would be 15 minus 10, or 5 newtons, and the direction would be that way. But let's imagine that we had a different situation. Let's imagine that you're pushing from this direction with 20 newtons, but you're only pushing from this direction with 10 newtons. Now, obviously, 20 is bigger than 10, so the box is going to move this way. What is the net force? 20 minus 10 is 10 newtons, and the direction of the net force will be this way. Well, what if we have a third situation? where we push from this direction with 25 newtons and from this direction with 25 newtons. We have equal force on either side of the box. 25 is, 20, is equal to 25. So the net force, the net force acting on this box is zero. There is no net force. We say that this is balanced. The box is not going to move. So forces are pushes and pulls. You can add up the net force on an object, taking into account the fact that if they're in opposite direction, you need to put a negative sign in, and the direction of the larger force is going to be the direction of motion.